What is up guys? We're back here for another video on Tommy's 2021 Porsche Macan GTS with the 2.9 liter twin turbo. So he came by today and he has just picked up the vector piggyback module. So we are going to be adding this on to his car. Hopefully it's going to work. We have not found anyone online or on YouTube that has done it. So it's a piggyback tuning module that's going to basically, what do they say? Increase performance, what? Throttle response, turbo, PSI, anything else? It's gonna increase horsepower by 35 to 40 horsepower. 35 to 45 horsepower, okay. So we're going to take the car now in a stock form with just a cat pack exhaust for a quick spin, see how it is. We're gonna go over the module, go over the installation of it. Hopefully it's going to work and then we'll take it for another drive to see the comparison and the difference. So here's the module, let's get in this car and go on a stock drive. So we're in Tommy's GTS with the MBRP catback that you guys just heard and the flat six motorsports intake. So we're gonna take it for a test drive. He's got it in manual mode. We're gonna see how the acceleration is. Well, she shifts pretty quick. PDK. What do you think of the throttle response stock, shift points, everything like that? It shifts pretty good when it's in sport mode and very fast. However, there is a little bit of lag. Okay. So that's why I'm hoping that the vector tuning module takes care of. ECU flashing would void my warranty and this supposedly does not show up. Perfect. So let's go over how we're gonna install this module. Hope that everything works. We're gonna be the guinea pigs and then we'll take it for another test drive. Mm -hmm. First step, remove the engine cover. Just lift up, it'll unclip and you can set it aside. Next up, you wanna locate the three sensors that you're gonna be splicing into. You have your camshaft sensor, your boost pressure sensor, and your intake manifold sensor. The intake manifold one is right here in retrospect to the rest of the vehicle. Then we need to find the camshaft sensor, which is gonna be in this area. And then the boost pressure sensor, I believe is right down here. So I'm gonna pull off the uh, inlet hose here so that we have a little more access to it. So let's get all of that undone. And then we can put together our actual module here. And this is the whole pigtail. So you take your pigtail, right to the module itself, snap this in, and she's nice and tight. So let's get everything undone so we can plug into those sensors. So one thing to note, uh, when I remove the inlet tube here that's connected right to the throttle body, it's actually loaded with oil. So. I don't know if they're gonna make some type of catch can setup for this car yet. I'm not that familiar with the Porsches, but uh, there's also a good amount of oil right in the throttle body that I can see in here as well. So we're gonna clean all that out. Uh, we'll do some further research, see if there's anything we can do to prevent that. But for now, just clean it all out before you put it back together. All right, so now with the intake tube removed, we can see the one sensor is right there. Let's see if we can Get a better visual for you. You can see the clip is right there. So we're just gonna undo that harness and we'll set that aside. Just unclip that like so. To make it a little bit easier, being that it is tough to get, just use your flathead, 
push it right down in the corner, which will um, release that safety there. And then you can just push and pull right out. Next up, we have the intake manifold one. Again, we'll just slide that up and unclip like so. Finally, you have the camshaft sensor. So if you look here by your oil fill, and then you go down right under this tube, you're gonna see the pin right here. It was a little tricky to find. So let's see if we can work our flathead in there, push up on our connector like so. And then we gotta try to get our fingers in there. Definitely wanna make sure the engine's not too hot before you're doing this. All right, we got her unplugged. Just use some needle nose pliers, and then you can work your sensor out right by the throttle body and have the pigtail exposed like so. All right, so we have our module plugged into the pigtail harness. So you can see here now, each one is individually labeled. So this is gonna be your map, which is gonna be the one for the intake manifold. You have your turbo, which is for your boost pressure over there. And then you have the camshaft, which is obviously for the camshaft sensor located right here. So we're gonna go one by one. You're gonna plug the pigtail into the original harness, and then you're gonna put the cap in on the other end. So it's a two for one deal splicing right in. So we'll try starting here with the camshaft. So this is gonna plug in like so. And you see you have a good connection. Now we're gonna to try to get this back in, which is definitely the tightest fit of all of them. And again, definitely make sure the car is cool before you're doing this to make it easier on yourself. Okay, clipped in, push the safety down, Give her a little tug, she's in. Let's work our way now to the next sensor. So, pull this through here to keep everything untangled. Next up, we have the turbo. So, set that one aside. We have our turbo pigtail here. We'll plug in like so, push that in nice and safety. Make sure every connection is nice and good. Then we're gonna plug this down under here. Try to work it in. It definitely is a tight fit. She's in, push your safety, give it a tug. And that one is on now as well too. Tug that pigtail harness down there. And now next up we have the one for the intake manifold, save the easiest for last. Slide that on, clip her in. All right, here's a snap and she is all in. So now we're going to tuck the rest of this wiring included with the kit, if you don't have your own, are some zip ties so we're gonna Zip tie everything together, make it a little more concealed and out of the way. Um, and then we're gonna find a good spot to mount the module itself so that it's accessible when you wanna change through the performance modes. So let's get through all that and we'll start her up. Okay, so the installation is all complete. We have the module here zip tied to one of the hoses. All the rest of the harness is tucked underneath the ECU. So nothing gets caught, burned, and it looks a little bit more presentable. The engine cover is back on and all the connections are tight and secure. So we're gonna start it up now for the first time and try clicking through the modules and make sure everything is functioning properly.
two, three, eco, put it back to one, leave it for five seconds, and it should flash, and it was set. Now you can push it once more to see that it is, in fact, on one, so we know it's on performance mode, which is the top performance. So let's take it for a spin. Also something to note, before you take it for a spin, check the dash, make sure there is no check engine lights or uh, any indicators, which we can see here so far. We are good. We'll give it a couple revs and then we'll take it for a spin. All right, let's try it out. say I yeah. thought I was in the seat a little bit more than last time. Throttle response is quicker. I don't know if it's just me if it's giving us a little more turbo noise too. Unfortunately the GTS does not have a boost gauge so we can't check to see the PSI but it definitely feels way peppier. Do you have the car itself in sport mode? No. Mm -hmm. You were in sport mode before, weren't you? I was in sport mode All right, before. So try that. So now we'll put it in sport mode and then the chip itself is on the highest performance. Yeah, it's definitely a lot faster. So worth it? 700 bucks. It was on sale at flat six motor sports. I'll take it. So Tommy is happy and be sure to drop your comments below. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions about the install, it was pretty straightforward. Some of the plugs are a little tricky to get to, but other than that, it's a very straightforward installation. So be sure to comment, like, and subscribe.